after this, um, I played 96, and this is a lovely little, um, a lovely little intermezzo, 96. Uh, now he cannot, uh, obviously he can't uh, take here, because I play rook takes g7, and after rook h3, it's made next move. So he must play bishop f6, and here uh, it looks as if um, I have some slight tactical problems with the queen and with the, the knight, but I played rook g7 check, which is a, a nice idea, and now queen h7. And there's an interesting point here because it's quite possible for me to um, just capture his queen and I, I'm sure a lot of people would do that and it can be played uh, and it may be good but after e takes f4 my winning chances um, are, um, uh, are not that clear actually strangely enough his uh, his bishops work very very well together and I'm left with some um, with some wretched pawns everywhere in particular on the Queen side and so I, I might not be able to win such a position you've got to strike while the irons hot I didn't take his Queen I went for mate Knight takes g7 and now actually I'm threatening um, I'm threatening his rook, but more importantly, I'm also threatening knight h5, check, and I'm also threatening knight takes f5. So he's got too many pieces hanging. He has to get, retreat, and after this, I took his rook, and um, apparently the move... Um, Queen e8 check leads to mate in 11. Um, I can play rook h7, which is uh, also winning. But uh, as it was, I played rook d1. Uh, not the strongest move, but perfectly good enough to force immediate resignation. Rook d8 check uh, is coming. Uh, it's unstoppable.